Watch you guys, got a quick video here for you on how to uh, network your USB printer to uh, multiple devices and other computers on your network. So if you want to do that in this video, I'll show you how to do it. It's pretty straightforward and easy to do and uh, you'll be able to print from any device to that one printer. So let's get started. So I'm going to have a quick look here and show you how to do it. So all you need to do here is click on the uh, Windows uh, button here, click settings, go up to devices, which is your Bluetooth printers and mouse up here, you can see. Click on this one here and you should have uh, your printers here on, left, on the left hand pane, which is printers and scanners. When you click on this, you should see your printers and scanners here. This is the more modern way of doing it. So when you see your printer, uh, you want to click on it. So click on this here. And then when you uh, see this, you'll be able to hit the manage uh, tab. Now you can see down here, we have a bunch of uh, things we can go into. So we're gonna go into uh, printer properties here. And when you go into printer properties, it will give you some other options here. We want to hit the sharing tab. And you can see here, it says if you share this printer, any user on your network can print to it. This printer will not be available uh, when the computer sleeps. And you can change those settings there. So we're just going to put a tick inside this box here. You can now name this whatever you like. Uh, so you can leave it as is so you can recognize it on your network if you have the same uh, name uh, printer on your network then what you want to do is name it something else like uh, Canon uh, printer office Canon printer uh, um, living room or wherever it is where you've got them stored now down here on the additional drivers when you click on this here, it gives you the option to install additional drivers. So if they are using, uh, say, a tablet or something like that, then you can see the ARM64 uh, driver here, and you also got the x86 driver if they're running a 32-bit operating system on your home network. So whatever device you're running, if you're just using 64-bit desktop PCs, or devices then you can just leave that as is and you should be pretty much good to go there we need to do here now is click apply and okay and that will then be visible on your network so when you go onto your network it will be visible as the Canon printer under the network section and of course what you can do here is come down to the Explorer so when you're on another device whether it'll be a phone or tablet or whatever it is that you have set up you will then go down to network on that device and it will display here when you have it all set up it will show up as a network printer device with the green little pipes on it it will look something like this little uh, green like this little icon here with the green pipes on it uh, saying it's networked and you can print to that printer okay now the old way of getting to uh, that would be in control panel and i'll quickly show you that now just so you can see this would have been the older way of getting to the network area and if you was looking at the category here uh, what you'll be doing is looking for devices so you can see here view devices and printers you'd come into this area here if you're used to seeing this area and of course you would then find your printer and then when you find your printer here which is here you could then right click on this and you could then uh, open up the printer properties like so and it will bring you to the same place it's very quick and it's very easy why they've made it so uh, buried deep uh, into the settings inside Windows 10 with the new settings this was a, such a quicker easier way to do things but you know they want you to move forward and move out of the control panel and move into the new way of doing things but basically it's the same uh, same way of doing things okay anyway i think that's about it for this video i'm going to wrap this one up just a quick video my name is brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk hope this one helps you out guys if it does then give it a thumbs up and i shall see you again for another video real soon bye for now now if you haven't subscribed yet hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.